the award-winning Beyond Vaudeville program with your host, Frank Hope, and your co-host, David Green. Suzanne Muldowney is underdog, Rudy Nutcake, performer Kenneth Keith Kallenbach, Marilyn Monroe expert, conspiracy expert, M. Vincent Hayes, and Joey the Monkey, and lots and lots more. And uh, uh, what wasn't mentioned on the uh, sign is that this is a very special uh, uh, Thanksgiving edition of the uh, Beyond Vaudeville program. And uh, uh, just want to uh, quickly uh, show, uh, see I have the hat, the uh, pilgrim hat there. And uh, I'm just going to put that there uh, temporarily. And we have lots of guests today for our Thanksgiving feast. Uh, 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 and, uh, but first, I just want to thank uh, some people for writing in, uh, Al Weissman, and uh, Elise uh, Stearns and uh, Jerry Todd. And uh, if you want to write in to us, uh, please uh, do at, uh, uh, at this uh, address, uh, the uh, 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 P.O. Box 7357 uh, MYC 10116. Uh, OK, there's that. And uh, we, I'm going to introduce all the guests. So let me just also first show uh, one thing. Um, uh, stamp collecting is uh, something I've taken up lately. And all you need is, a, uh, is like a, a composition book and, uh, and uh, scotch tape and stamps. Um, and I've got a whole bunch from all around the world. And all you do is you, um, what you do is you, OK. All right. Uh, well, what I was going to show you is you take the stamp and you put it uh, down on the, p on the paper like so, and you tape it, right? Like, OK. All right, uh, but you, uh, all right. Uh, you might hear the uh, laughing. That is the uh, laughing uh, Buddha that, uh, that is new to the uh, program. And uh, he laughs when you, uh, when you, when you touch him. Uh, I, uh, right, uh, OK. Uh, now let's uh, introduce our uh, guests that have joined us for our <coughs> Thanksgiving uh, banquet today. Uh, we have uh, first with us uh, Mr. Uh, M. Vincent Hayes, who's a good friend of the program. And, uh, He'll uh, update us in a little while about uh, the latest in the uh, Marilyn Monroe uh, conspiracy. Uh, yes, the Marilyn Monroe conspiracy and the Beaux Arts Ball. Okay, and uh, and actually, uh, Marilyn Monroe is not the full name, right? The full name is her Marilyn Monroe Doherty Slotcher Jamajo Miller. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll talk about that later. And there's a, a blimpy sandwich there for you, Mr. Hayes, turkey oh, if you'd like. You. And uh, also with us, uh, David, of course, uh, co-host. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Uh, Kenneth Keith Callenbach with us. Uh, how are you today, Mr. Callenbach? What's up? What's going on? What's up? What's up? Okay. Uh, and uh, he's, he's going to uh, sing for us in a little while. And we also have uh, Ms. Fruity Nutcake with us. Right, and uh, and you're actually going to do some rapping for us in a oh, little yes. while, right? I, I'm an old Madonna. Oh old boy! Madonna. Old Madonna. Uh, okay, and uh, and uh, and last but certainly uh, not least, uh, a very uh, special guest is with us, uh, who uh, has been with us before, but this is a very special uh, appearance because it's a uh, special anniversary year for uh, for Underdog. Please welcome the uh, inimitable Miss Suzanne Muldowney uh, to the program. Now, uh, now uh, uh, Suzanne, if we could just start uh, maybe uh, with you. Uh, this is uh, very good for Thanksgiving because actually uh, underdog, uh, the underdog balloon used to be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade every year, right? Uh, um, up until 84 it did here in New York. Until 84. And then uh, and why did they stop uh, uh, with the balloon? Probably because of they got tired of uh, using it again and again, or it wore down, or, or they kept bringing in new balloons, and they could they could use only so many. They decided after a certain length of time, uh, uh, that one had had enough turns. Although, I heard some very sinister and conflicting reports that last year, that balloon had been in Philadelphia's parade. I had tried to be in Philadelphia's parade, but they but they turned me down. And then I heard. I didn't actually see it, but then I heard conflicting reports that that they had used uh, an underdog balloon in the Philadelphia parade. Without alerting you to the, that they did that. With, well, without allowing me to um, appear in, in their Thanksgiving parade as underdog. Wow. Uh, well, that, that doesn't seem right. Uh, now, I, I brought along, uh, Suzanne, the underdog uh, comic book they brought back, right? Uh, the comic book is, are you familiar with this uh, edition? or? Um, 
Uh, no, I've never seen that one before. Okay. Well, I I actually read the uh, book. It's a very good uh, book, and uh, it was uh, um, Simon Bar Sinister uh, shrinks everybody so that Underdog uh, and uh, Polly Purebred got uh, attacked by all these large uh, rats. But well, they weren't large, but because they, they were, were so sized. small, right? And uh, now, uh, why is Simon Bar Sinister so uh, mean? I mean, why 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 he's, is he like that? He's He's, he's a criminal scientist. Lots of your average uh, adventure or uh, suspense tales uh, lots of times have uh, mad scientists in them. And when we're on the, while we're on the subject of Simon Bar Sinister, and, and especially with Thanksgiving, I want to emphasize that um, now the one you just showed was not the one I'm thinking of, but there was an episode made in which uh, Simon Bar Sinister traveled back in time to the original Thanksgiving to try to change history, and oh. Underdog had to go after him. Oh, OK. That sounds like an exciting one. That was on the TV program, on the Underdog TV program. Well, it was one of the original Underdog cartoon adventures, yes. OK. Now, now this is actually the 30th anniversary year, right? Yes, he origina Underdog originated in 64. This year is his 30th anniversary. And I, I should point out, yeah, that's uh, uh, and, uh I should point out, Suzanne, that uh, also this year is the 30th anniversary of Blimpy. They had, uh, I noticed uh, before, when we got the, uh, the cups. So Blimpy and Underdog debuted uh, the same year, right? But, but uh, coincidentally, besides now you're interjecting an unnecessary commercial into the program. Oh, well, that's, that's true. I uh, all right. Well, now, uh, one thing I don't understand about Underdog is why does he uh, speak in rhymes when he, uh, when he talks? Um, that was, that was just a way that the creators wanted to set him um, apart, to, to, to give him an extra special trademark from, um, his, uh, from his cover up identity. But, but naturally, uh, people just don't speak in rhyme out of natural ability. That, that was all pre planned by the, uh, the story writers. One does not speak in rhyme, you know, naturally. Right, okay. And, uh Oh, and uh, just and uh, I had another uh, question. You don't uh, speaking of uh, cartoon characters. You don't like Bullwinkle, I heard. Right? Is that right? You, or there, there, there are many cartoon characters I just never went for. Now I went for uh, Underdog because he was a superhero. That's a step above the the average cartoon character. Right. And uh, and Bullwinkle wasn't a super uh, a superhero, right? Uh, no. No. Uh, okay. And uh, um, all right. Well, now. Um, uh, oh, and there was uh, also. Uh, I was reading in some of the literature from your fan club that there was some controversy over the fact that Underdog takes the pill, uh, the uh, energy pill. Uh, he, the 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 originators termed it an energy pill, but it was not used to give him strength the way the way Popeye is dependent on spinach to acquire strength. Underdog's pill was only a recuperative. Okay. Uh, see now, that's why this is helpful to, to see this and, and hear you know why that why that is I guess. Uh, but now, Suzanne, you are going to actually do a special 30th anniversary dance for us uh, today, correct? Uh, or? Well, it isn't really a 30th anniversary dance, but um, it is one that I I know I did it five years ago at your stage show when it was the 25th anniversary. One thing that um, that's lacking here that. Uh, which is more effective when this particular number is used is a um, is an eerie lights show. Oh. If any of you are familiar with the uh, the film 2001, remember those eerie light lighting effects and displays used toward the end. Well, this this particular dance is most effective when there are uh, all sorts of uh, fancy light displays. Okay. Well, uh, well, if we can see your uh, dance and. Uh Maybe uh, the light guys can help out. I don't know if they can do that, but you know we can see. Maybe they can uh, flicker things a bit. Uh, okay, and uh, so please, uh, 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 please uh, give us uh, your special dance, uh, Suzanne. I'm sorry about all the stamps all over the floor. Uh, um, it's also one thing. It was very disgraceful that uh, no network, big leagues, or anything did any observation of Underdog's 30th anniversary when the actual date fell on October 3rd. There was not one speck of the tribute to Underdog in that occasion. And I had written dozens of letters to talk shows so that I could make an appearance. And not either the letters went unanswered or, or they turned me down. OK, well, I think they should admonish the uh, networks then for that. And maybe, you know, maybe they'll see the light on the 35th anniversary. Uh, uh, right. 
Okay, uh, Suzanne. Uh, well, here's Suzanne uh, Maldowney and uh, performing as Underdog. Uh, music, please. Uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, wow, that was uh, that was quite extraordinary, uh, uh, Suzanne. That was that was very uh, special. Uh, uh, we uh, actually, um, if you can just stay, we we want to make sure everyone gets a chance to uh, perform. And uh, now, uh, Fruity uh, Nutcake, you are going to um, you're going to do a rap for us, yes, correct? Yes, I am. And uh, an old Madonna type of character called Fruity Nutcake which I had written around 10 years ago. I write my own scripts. 10 years? So you've yeah. had a lot of experience at oh, this. Oh, yes. Uh... I've been on several shows. OK. Well, if, if you don't mind, without further ado, we'd love to have you uh, Thank do, you. do your rap. Uh, we just need your, uh, you have your microphone there. Uh, OK. Uh, OK. Oh, and Suzanne, you have to, uh, you have a, another scheduled appointment. Uh, yes. Right. OK. Uh, thank you, Suzanne. Uh, OK. OK. All right, now, uh, please uh, welcome the one and only Fruity Nutcake. I'd like to introduce myself. You know who I am? I'm Fruity Nutcake, cute and sexy as can be, and all the managers wild about me. The old men, they chill me. The young men, they thrill me. When I'm with them, I'm in ecstasy. And once again, my youth returns to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone clap along to me while I say, I'm pretty lucky. Oh, yeah. I see the earthquake. Now I'm hard to handle. I don't burn out like no candle. Cause the young girl rolls up easy to hold. And when the clock starts ticking, the baby, I'm finger licking. Young women are jealous, talking about with the jealous, while they're looking for loving. There's always something in my oven. 
We could forget you, uh, Fruity Nutcake. Uh, oh, I don't think you can. Wow. Uh, what, what did you think of that, uh, Kenneth? Uh, Keith, was that? Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> 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 I was in my throat there. Okay. okay. Uh, now that you was. Need a glass of water? No, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, now that was a little. Uh, that was a little risque, uh, what you did. Uh, yes, I know. They never expect that from a woman of my years. No, I was, uh, oh, I, I was surprised uh, when you took your skirt uh, off like that. Uh. I know. Well, as I said, age is only a number. Okay. That's about well, all. Well, that's right. You still have your youth. Well, that's a good lesson to, uh, to all of the uh, uh, people out there who think that uh, they, they can't do things like no. that uh, anymore. Life uh, begins at my age. Right, now oh, there you go. Uh, well, that's a that's a good lesson to be learned, and uh, uh, and we're actually so filled with performers today. We we do have another uh, performer, uh, uh, Mr. Kenneth Keith, who is going to do a song for us also, right? A musical uh, number. And um, would you like to, David? Don't watch the puppets now. Uh, this is supposed to be a nice Thanksgiving uh, dinner we're having, right? And it's been very nice so far. And uh, uh, Kenneth, would you like to take the uh, Take the, uh, the your guitar and, and play your, your number for us. Yes, that's right, Frank. Okay, and and this is called what now? Uh, this song is called I Got Beers. I'm in the process of assembling the Kenneth Key Callenback Band. All future musicians of the Kenneth Key Callenback Band can send the replies to Beyond Vaudeville. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh. All right, I'll get out there and do it. Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Now, Excuse me. Okay, and uh, now, Miss Nutcake, you had a previous engagement also, right? Yes, I uh, did. Okay, well, well, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. And uh, thank you, Fruity Nutcake. Uh, I really uh, enjoyed it all. Very nice. Well, thank you. Please come back. Uh, okay. uh, I don't know if there's going to be anyone left at the end of the program. Uh, uh, oops, okay. Everything oops, under control? Sorry. All, all right. Uh, Kenneth Keith Callenbach singing, um, I got. Does that sound right? I got beers. Got, let me have this. Okay. Get out of my freaking way, you retard. Okay. So I'm, uh, uh, okay, yeah. I'm ready. Is that loud enough? Okay. I was walking down the street. I didn't know who to meet. I didn't take a bath that day. I didn't brush my teeth yesterday. Saw a girl in the corner, long blonde hair, tight black pants, black high heels. How are you doing, girl? What are you doing here? I got my own place. I hope you don't have kids. Come over here. I got beers. I got chicken. One to get licking. This was the day for me. I knew what I was going to see. I told her she wouldn't be home for dinner. She asked if she could call home. I said, Come on, let's go on over. I want to roll your husband over. I don't care if he sees me. I'll leave him laying in the bushes. How are you doing, girl? Did you figure out my name? Did you figure out my game? Did you figure out my fame? Come over here. I got beers. I got chicken. I want you to get licking. She got off the subway. She looked at my briefcase. I looked at her legs. She looked at my eyes. I said, yo, what's up? She said, hi, how are you? I'm not doing so good. She said, why, what's wrong? 
I can't find a girl. I can't find any fun. I got a wife at home. I can't go on a date. She's the subway girl. She's the subway girl. Subway girl, where have you been? Subway girl, my name is Jim. Subway girl, I like your stuff. Subway girl, I call you bluff. She's the subway girl. That was very nice, uh, Kenneth Pete. Wow. Uh, Thanks a lot. Now, uh, now actually, uh, Kenneth, you were going to uh, help us participate in a little tribute to Thanksgiving, right? Oh, uh, yes, that's, that's correct. Okay, yes. well, let's, uh, let's do that then. And uh, okay. uh, David, uh, this is the part I asked you about before, if you could join us. And uh, please, uh, uh, David. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, that's, see, that's nice, David. That's, now you're in the Thanksgiving spirit and you're cooperating. And, uh, okay. Uh, all right, this is the landing of uh, Plymouth, uh, Plymouth Rock with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, the guys that came over, right? All right, uh, we're just off the boat now. Uh, what do you, wow, look at this new place. Uh, isn't this something? All this, uh, all this land here. Uh, right. Hey, what's for dinner? Are you having turkey, carrots, potatoes, and green beans? Oh, uh, and who are you? You must be uh, uh, an Indian, then. Right? I want some green green beans. I like the land. Look at that rock over there. And that freaking jerk over there. That freaking rock up in there. Okay, I uh, see so you're the Indian, uh, right? Uh, yeah, I'm an Indian. What do you want? You want some steaks, some ham? Huh? Okay. Uh, well, boy, that would be. Uh, uh, how would you like that? Uh, we could have a, a big dinner, and and we could call it uh, Thanksgiving, right? Okay. Um, all right, and then uh, and then we could do it every year. We could call it uh, Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, yeah, we could get together with the Indians and just drink some beers. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, that's the uh, that's the, the reenactment of thanks the first Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay, now Mr. Hayes, you're going to uh, give us an update on the uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, the death of Marilyn Monroe, and you're making some uh, progress now with the uh, government, right? Uh, with the Congress? Uh, we are attempting to get a bill through the House of Representatives to open the FBI and CIA files going back to uh, 1962, August 4th specifically, when she was murdered. And uh, many books now seem to prove that she was murdered. There's even one book, The Murder of Marilyn Monroe by Five Psychics. And uh, it was so bad in those days that the first police chief in Los Angeles County, Mr. Parker, Chief Parker, who had the original FBI file, was using that information to blackmail JFK to force him to appoint Parker as head of the FBI to replace Andrew Hoover. Her diary was stolen from the safe of the morgue. Anything was possible. She was definitely murdered, and it looks like, from my information, that the chief scientist of the CIA designed the suppository which was placed in her to kill her off. Well, that, this sounds like it would be a good movie. Maybe the guy that made the uh, JFK movie could make a movie on, on this. Uh. Yes, it should be a movie uh, that would win the Academy Award. Yes. Uh, Broadway musical. Well, now, uh, uh, now speaking of musical, Mr. Hayes, before we uh, uh, talk again, we do want to bring out our resident uh, dancing monkey, uh, Joey. <laughs> and uh, Joey, uh, uh, Joey's all excited today. Uh, uh, you all happy about uh, Thanksgiving, Joey? And, uh, and you're going to do a special, uh, yeah, uh, lots of food. And you're going to do a special Thanksgiving dance uh, for us? OK. Uh, is Joey's music uh, ready? Uh, uh, OK. Oh, boy. Hey, 
There you go. A sandwich too, uh, if you'd like. Uh, now, uh, now uh, uh, we we just have to wrap up now. But uh, I want to give everyone paper and pen so they can draw those turkeys with their hands if they have t you know if we have time. And uh, there you go. And uh, this you guys. And uh, now, Mr. Hayes, uh, you were going to tell us about the uh, the Bo Beaux Arts Ball. Uh, well, the Beaux Arts Ball was Friday, November 11th. Uh, the second Friday of November, as usual. Right. It worked out to be Armistice Day and Remembrance Day in Canada. And we had a top German club in, in New York called the Liederkranz, <coughs> 6 East 87th Street, near Fifth Avenue. <coughs> the queen of the ball was Carol Shea, whose uh, picture was on the cover of the August issue of Playboy magazine. And the king was Joe Franklin. Okay, and uh, well, that sounds exciting, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Hayes. And, and please check in for the uh, Beaux Arts Ball. And if uh, everyone has their turkeys, uh, this uh, we have with the hand turkeys. Uh, and uh, thank you all for uh, watching the Beyond Vaudeville <laughs> program. And uh, uh, thank you uh, so much, uh, Mr. Hayes and uh, and uh, David and uh, Kenneth Keith and Joey and uh, and uh, Miss Fruity Nutcake and uh, Suzanne Muldowney. Thank you all for joining us on our uh, special Thanksgiving uh, uh, salute show program. Okay. Right.